What's up everyone, Dubblade here with an information video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. In this video we will be covering Update 3 for the game, what it involves, what's included and more. So Update 3 was released on the 2nd of September, but it comes in two parts. Now part 1, available on the 2nd of September, includes three new monsters. Although they're really deviants, it basically allows us to take on Soul Seer Mitsutsune, Elder Frost Gamoff and Oroshi Kirin. Oroshi Kirin is available through a subquest, so you can take it on solo using one of the normal partners, so Cheval, Kyle, so on and so forth. Whilst Soul Seer Mitsusune and Elder Frost Gamoff are only available through co op quests, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a pain if you like to play solo. Of course, if you want some quick tips for these monsters, Soul Seer Mitsusune is weak to thunder, much like the normal Mitsune. Elder Frost Gamoff is weak to fire, and Oroshi Kirin is also weak to fire as well. Of course, as always, they change up their attack patterns, going from technical to power to speed all the time, so it's going to take some time to actually learn their movesets. But nonetheless, this also means that we're able to get all of these monsters as monsters for our collections. So keep an eye out for them when you explore the Water Den or the Ice Den, which are two of the new co-op quests that we have. Or if you're lucky enough to get a super rare den out in the wild, you can also get them there. But there is another bit of information for this update, which is part 2, which is available on the 16th of September. This gives us more subquests that allow you to take on Soul Seer and Everfrost, as you normally would in your game using Kyle, Roberto, so on and so forth. And it also adds some more co-op hunts as well for us to take part in. So there we have it, that is pretty much all the basic information for Update 3. Obviously Capcom released the trailer, showing off the new monsters, and in some respects it's nice that we actually have Deviants of the Fated 4. So we have a Deviant for Glavinus, Astalos, Mitsutsune, and Gamoth as well. Oroshi Kirin is just the icing on the cake, giving us a new Elder Dragon. My overall thoughts are these monsters are a welcome addition to the game, although I found them a little bit, well, bullet spongy and tanky to be honest. I'm also not a fan that not all of them are really available solo. Yes you can take on Soul Seer and Everfrost solo if you want to but you're stuck with an AI who is well gets one shot all the time. So if you're after them it is unfortunately advisable to do it with a friend and even then it's not guaranteed. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below and until next time I've been Darkblade bringing you a very quick information video regarding update 3 for Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.